today I'm going to go through building the executive Bluetooth speaker kit from Parts Express. I bought the kit for $200 during a two day sale, which is a really good deal for what you get here. So let's get started. The kit comes as a flat pack, which means all the panels are basically in one single flat pack just strapped together that you have to assemble yourself. The kit is very easy to assemble if you have any experience assembling cabinets. Since all the panels are CNC cut, there are some fuzzy bits around the edges that need to be sanded down. You can use just regular old 100 grit sandpaper. I did this basically all the way around every single piece, just to make sure I knocked down any fuzzy pieces of wood that were sticking out. Birchwood typically doesn't machine as well as MDF, so this is pretty typical. For my cabinet, I both glued and nailed everything together. For the wood glue, I just used Tight Bond 2, and for the nails, I just used 1 inch brad nails. You could probably also just get away with using wood glue and clamps if you have enough clamps, but since I didn't, I just nailed everything together. Pretty much all the pieces only go in in one direction, so it's almost impossible to assemble this thing incorrectly. The kit doesn't actually come with like a hard copy of an instruction manual, but you can look at the PDF that's on Parts Express. I only referenced it like one time, and that was just to do the crossover layout, so I very well could be putting this thing together incorrectly, but everything went together just fine for me, so your mileage may vary. I put in the inner panels first, which I think the manual says to do it a different way, and then I did the bottom, and then the sides, and then the top. This meant that the back panel went on last, and I'll show you exactly why I did this. After all the sides were put together, I made sure to sand the back of the cabinet so that the back panel would fit on easily. I left the back panel for last so I could easily install the DC power inlet. This piece would basically almost be impossible to install while the back panel is on because of how small the cabinet is on the inside. For my build, the next thing I'm going to install is the speaker crossovers. I really wish these crossover boards were included with the kit since it makes it a lot easier to lay out the crossover and actually solder everything together. These little 3x5 boards fit perfectly inside each little chamber for the speakers. Now that everything's bolted together, I can finally attach the back panel to the cabinet. The back was a little tight to get on, so it needed a little persuasion. Now I test assembled everything before I finished all this up and actually listened to the speaker to make sure that everything was how it should be. Now comes the fun part, which is finishing. Just kidding, this part isn't fun at all. Here I'm using indoor-outdoor wood filler to fill in any pinholes and imperfections in the wood that might be visible underneath the coating that I'm going to roll on. Okay, so here I skipped a whole bunch of steps. I threw the box on a router table with a quarter inch roundover bit and rounded over every single corner all the way around the box. Then I used the wood filler and filled in the end grain to make sure that the coating didn't seep into the end grain and show seams. Then I sanded everything smooth with 200 grit sandpaper and started rolling on Duratex, which is a durable speaker cabinet coating, which is absolutely perfect for this build. They tell you to do two coats, which is exactly what I did, and I gave each coat overnight time to dry. The cabinet came out looking really good. Then after everything was dry, I took a razor blade and started cutting out the amp recess because any extra material that's sitting inside the recess will make the amp plate not want to sit properly. I also ended up painting the amp recess, but it didn't really look that great, but I wasn't really too worried about it anyways. Also just set the amp plate in there just to make sure it fit. Now it's actually time to start wiring everything together. Now like I said, I already had this thing pre-assembled, so all the wire links are cut exactly where I want them to be, and I know everything functions properly, so I can really just start wiring everything together quickly. At this point, I was getting pretty tired of filming all this. I've already built several Bluetooth speakers of my own design by myself before, so this task was honestly just pretty monotonous getting everything together to get it functioning. So eventually I just said, screw it, let's get this stupid thing together and get it playing. And here's the finished product. I was very happy with how the speaker turned out. The kit was really easy to assemble, and honestly it was just a ton of fun putting this kit together. I also added a small carry handle to the top of the cabinet, which is one thing that I also wish was included with the kit. The 5 and a quarter inch subwoofer on the front, paired with the 8 inch passive radiator on the back, really gives this thing a ton of low end output for how small it is. And the 4 inch coaxial speakers actually sound pretty good as well. Coaxial speakers are great to minimize the use of baffle space, which is great for really small form factor speakers such as this. This is a great portable speaker for the money. This kit is currently selling on Parts Express for $250, which is still a great deal for what you get. 
If you're in the market for a Bluetooth speaker and you have skills building DIY speakers, then I would highly recommend this kit. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content just like this, subscribe to my channel for more.